Alright, welcome back to Shadow the Hedgehog. Uh, I don't even remember what the last playthrough we did was, but um, we got <laughs> the, the, the smug boy with us today. <laughs> smug boy? Yeah. That's me. <laughs> smug hat kid. Smug hat, yeah, pretty much. Shadow the Hedgehog. Why does that name haunt me? It's the only thing I can remember. And that gruesome image. <laughs> Maria! Maria, Maria, Maria! Who am I? And why can't I remember anything? And who is this Maria? Aliens. You know, I you gotta love how aliens just kind of invade out of nowhere. <laughs> like, just... <laughs> I just love how convenient this whole thing is. Where it's like, <laughs> he's just he's just there brooding, and then there's just a uh, just a crap ton of aliens coming down from the sky. Yeah, it's like uh, like w the moment when he's like most. Uh, Concerned about his past is when the world gets invaded. It's like it's as if they were trying to answer his call. Like, yeah. who am I? Who, are, who, are, who exactly am I? What are you talking about? We'll show you. Boy. Just proceeds to kill people. <laughs> but it's okay, Mr. Yuji Naka. It's okay. Yeah, there's no, there's no Just way there aren't like about. casualties if he says in he this game. The about who I, am, like it I mean, have you, if you've seen the. Uh, the, 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 the proper true dark path. Yeah. So there's definitely casualties in that one. Yeah, the whole like junior eclipse cannon at the city and all that. They, they... I, like, I, like, I like the fact that it literally directly references Independence Day with that as well. Yeah. If you if have you seen that movie? No, but I know of the like like specific things about it. Like. Yeah, just like when it when it when it, when they broke the White House. Yeah. So there's no way some people didn't die during that. They, they tried to play it out like, oh, we got everyone away to safety. It's like, there's no way everyone is okay. No, every, no, there's no way they did. Same with thing with like, perfect chaos incident, honestly. Yeah, that. Like, to be fair, then. Oh, hey, son. Oh, hey, Sonic. This was like the four kids cast first, uh, first like proper like proper appearance in a video game. Yeah. Because I know that before that they'd been uh, they'd been doing like the whole Sonic X thing. Yeah. Um, I never actually talked about the new cast. I... Definitely a rocky first impression. But yeah, I think they got they, they definitely got a lot better. I love how like the, they they have better voice direction in um, in Sonic X than they did in the actual video games themselves. Yeah, although it's funny like hearing some of the earlier episodes because um, uh, Mike Pollock was really trying to uh, pull off like a Dean Bristow impression. Yeah, you can tell that, but like, yeah. but he came in, I think he came into his own, like, at least, like, ten episodes in. Yeah, it became more, um, comical, I guess. Look, I see, I hear, I see a lot of people saying that that's the kind of Eggman uh, Mike Pollock is, but he can pull off a serious Eggman if he needs to. Yeah, I like... Like, he's done it in Sonic Lost Clips. Lost World of All Games managed to pull off a uh, quite, quite eventful, like, very legitimately angry Eggman. Yeah, I think Eggman has been, like, the most consistent character in these games overall. Like, um, other characters, um, specifically Tails, can be pretty messy sometimes, but um, Eggman, I feel like has been pretty consistent in most of these games. And, uh, like, you can tell, like, in Lost Wars especially, like, uh, Mike Pollock was, like, really giving it his all in that game. Too 
Too black. Too strong. There are still some black creatures left to take out. Didn't yeah, this came out the same year Once as Sunrush. I find out the emeralds, I then I'll find yeah, the two thousand five. Damn, that feels ages ago. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about to make you stop making you feel old, but still. I mean that's usually Jason's job. Yeah. Uh it's like the, the that that would make the the boost formula like. Oh God, like, so, so the boost formula. Yeah. Oh my. No, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I think the first the time a boost has been in a Sonic world, game in general is probably is Heroes, but that's not a main. Technically. Yeah, that's not a main part of the game though. So. Due to its weakened defense system. Downtown Westopolis has been almost completely destroyed. Unconfirmed sources have also reported seeing a black hedgehog in Westopolis. Shadow? So how far... How much of this game did you bother now. playing? You find Shadow with the black aliens, then I've played like on. one but story. Sir, isn't Shadow on our side? Mm. I gave you an order, that. soldier. He's <laughs> evil and he's the I know. enemy. I am planning on actually... Uh, doing a proper this full time. run at some point, but I don't know if I actually want to or not. Um, I would definitely take it like one or two playthroughs at a time. Um, right. This is not, like uh, this is not a game you want to marathon. You've deliberately disobeyed me, Shadow. No one tells me what to do. I have. My oh look at me! I'm so edgy. <laughs> But that was that was one of the most edgiest thing that this fucking yeah. That he... Perhaps Professor Gerald has done more to your memory than I imagined. The professor. Hmm. Strange that you don't remember your maker. What'd you say? Silence. <laughs> the ramifications you of your disobedience will be severe. Your writing's all over the place in this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, How could you do this? Damn. You teleported me to another stage. How dare you? Uh, what? Where am I? I underestimated this is a short speed. version of Sky Troops. Yeah. But then it isn't even Sky Troops you're going through. Now it's up to me to find out what they're up to. I always I always assumed that Sky Troops was meant to be this place lifted up into the sky, but hey, Alright, let's see her. Black creatures floating around here. Um, okay. um Yeah, let's do the hero mission. Men step! Those gun soldiers are done! Look out! Alright, that's it! Um, so what are your general feelings towards this game with what you played? Look out behind you! <laughs> it isn't the worst thing in the world, I'll say that much. No. Like the gameplay I feel like the uh, I feel like the physics could have been tightened up considerably. Yeah. Because I think because it's so damn slippery, it's not it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like someone thought I can tell it wasn't slippery enough for some reason. Yeah. Then they've just thought let's let's just put let's make every level have ice physics. Yeah. Like I know it's just I know it's just I know it's not ice physics. But damn, it just feels like it. Yeah. Even fucking, what is it? Uh, even uh, Holoska didn't uh, feel that bad. No. Maybe I'm exaggerating, maybe not, but um, from what I remember of playing this game, it just feels like you can't even control it that well. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Failure is not an option. 
Uh, going back to this game after so many years, um, it's, it's definitely not as bad as I remember, like, control-wise, but, um, right. it's not ideal. Like, mm -hmm. I think a lot of it is due to me just, um, being used to how slippery Heroes is, and this is more or less an extension on, of that. Mm. So, I mean, yeah. One thing that's interesting about this game, though, is the fact that, uh, that... I think Yuji Naka himself described it as a direct response to like the whole Western obsession at the time, the Western obsession with the uh, shooter games. Yeah, and like so, yeah. so they thought let's make sh let's let's give Shadow his own game. What shall we do? Give him guns. Yeah, like so many mascot platformers were like going the edge of the during this time period. Like, yeah, like I haven't, yeah. I haven't played the Blinks games, but like I don't know, so I don't know if like he had a gun. No, I don't, I don't know much about Blings, I just know that the first game's apparently, like, really hard or something. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Yeah, and, like, games like the, like, Jack 2 and 3 and whatnot. Like, they... No, there's a lot of stuff that just wanted to get into this trend. I'm so glad that that trend's not around now, to be honest. Yeah. Otherwise, Shovel Knight might have been a very different game. Mm. Oh yeah, that would be really interesting. Gaming landscape's changed, like, so much. I think for the better. Yeah. Despite the whole loot box thing that was going on, like, a year or two ago. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, garbage that happens behind the scenes, like... Like, it's... Like, I feel like every day there's like new drama going on with companies and I don't know. I try to ignore ignore it most of the time, but it's one of those just it's just one of them things at the end of the day. Yeah. I think it's important. It's like one of those things where it's important to um, separate the the art from the artist kind of thing. Yeah. Because um, it can be hard to make that distinction sometimes. It's like Rich. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that the whole drama thing with Richard Jack. Oh where, yeah. Like I'll still I'll still listen to his music and appreciate it, but I'm not exactly keen of the shit that, that or, or the shit that he said. Yeah, like the Sonic Car remix or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really scummy. I'd love to, I'd love to actually hear that Sonic Car remix. Yeah. And it's like, and, and Konami, like, I think that goes without saying the shit that they did, but it, I just, uh, but I'll still, I'll still pick up and play a Castlevania game any day. Yeah. I mean, the collections and stuff are, are at least a step in the right direction. Of course. It depends on whether they'll actually follow up on it, though, that's the thing. Yeah, like... You know, a bit like how the legacy collections for Mega Man came out and then they made Mega Man 11. Yeah, like Capcom like made a huge one A for the better, and yeah. I'm glad because they were before Perfect. the whole uh, thing happened with uh, Legend Three and the firing in it. Yeah, for like they were m literally one of my favorite gaming companies yeah. at the time, and I'm glad that of all companies that they're the ones making a comeback. Yeah. I'm just waiting for Sega to do the same and see what they've got. Uh, see what they've got in store because I think if we wasn't for this fucking virus, we'd have known by now because we'd have uh, seen it announced at, uh, South by Southwest. But obviously that didn't happen. Yes. Also, talking about talking about the, talking about the virus, I feel like I'm just dating this video. <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. I mean, no, I mean, I'll, I'll gladly say I'll gladly, if it's. Uh, if it's dated, Elder then it's going to be in a good way. Yeah, yeah. Will never surrender to terrorists. <laughs> but uh, anyway, that aside. <clears throat> yeah. Um... <laughs> yeah, we really... It, we're, like, way overdue for a new no Sonic game announcement, I think. It's been nearly four years since the announcement of Sonic Forces. That feels so we weird. Like, I feel like we're just, we've just been so used to having a new things. game, like... Every year uh, or every, so? Yeah, every year, every two years, and then... Yeah. Mind you, considering how long it was between uh, Sonic Lost World and Sonic uh, Sonic Forces. Yeah. 
It's like, it feels weird we're having to wait this long, like, the, uh, nowadays. I don't know. Where's that damn fourth chaos? There it is! Yeah! Hey! <laughs> Isn't it? Make some damn. noise! <laughs> I can't believe I cheated that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. It's, it's weird because, um... I feel like a lot of Sega franchises are doing really well right now. Um... And it's like... Wait, Sega franchise? Wait, which one? I oh, know Yakuza's doing well. Yeah, like, Yakuza... Um... There's like, Panzer Dr the Panzer Dragoon remake, I know. Um... I don't know, is that actually doing okay? I don't know, but I think it just came out. Um, Let me have a look at see if there's any reviews. They shadow dropped that. By yeah, the way. yeah. I love it when they do that. It's just like, yeah. By the way, guess what's coming out today? This game you've been wanting. Yeah. Uh, but there's that. Um, uh, there, there was like one other I can't think of right now. Um, thing. Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember. Uh, I need to, to rewatch the direct. It's some online game. It's um, Fantasy Star Online 2 getting a um, a localization. That, that's it. Uh, so Wait, like, what? Yeah. Wait, uh, is it coming here? Yeah, it, it was a game that was announced in the Xbox E3. Conference, like that was last year, but it was. Yeah. But I remember at the time it was only it wasn't confirmed to come to Europe. Oh, it's not confirmed. I don't know. I'd have to look into that then. I I hope it does because I want to play it. Yeah, I want to play that too. And like Pure Pure is getting a lot more recognition in the West and. No, like a lot of Sega franchises besides Sonic have, has been have been doing like considerably better than before, um, and it's just kind of sad that the mascot is the only one that's kind of in a rough spot right now. Like, I mean, we have Mania and like the uh, cut, like the little animations and stuff, but like it's just. Like, the main like Sonic the Team stuff, I just... It's... I'm cautious. Yeah... I... I don't know what to think. I don't... I really don't know what to think right now. So, I want to be optimistic, but it's hard sometimes. Yeah. I think I'm in a state of cautious optimism. Yeah. Because... They're more willing to listen to the fans nowadays than they were, at least. Yeah. And there's also the point they actively went out of the way to make a question air right after Force's release. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I remember filling that in and thinking, if this makes a better game, then Force can go. Right. Yeah, I remember being not get game on that thing like immediately. <laughs> yeah. I really hope they like to take a look at that. They, you know, you know something. You know, after the amount of, uh, I can imagine after Sonic Forces, a lot of uh, fans went into it. Yeah. So I don't think that the, the I don't think they've, they've got any reason to ignore it. Yeah, because like, dare you show your faces I, in the I'm sure I'll presence. end up uh, talking about this in the far future, but like, um, Forces isn't isn't the worst game Perfect. I've ever played, but it's most likely the most disappointing one. Mm. It just came out like a wet fart. It's because <laughs> yeah. it's, it's like, oh, it's going back to more um, serious storytelling, I guess, where like, there's actual stakes and... Serious storytelling? Boost gameplay? You like those things? Like, actual, eh. reason, actual reason to care about what's going on again, and it's like, not really. <laughs> uh...
it then it, and then it just came out and it's like <laughs> I expected this yeah. baby could fly. It's uh, and I think they've realized it. I think we just I, yeah. So I'm cautiously optimistic. Like we because I'm really hoping that they, uh, that Sonic 2 actually paid fucking attention. We definitely need new writers at this point because the On Tak and Graf are just drab nowadays. Yeah, I, I didn't mind it in colours because it was a it was a change of pace, but Especially after especially after Sonic 06. Yeah. Like the, the difference between Sonic 06 and Sonic Colors were like night and day at this point. Yeah. It's like a different series. Um but like I, f like forces just kind of show showed me that they really can't write a, a, a story that has like it's supposed to have like actual depth. I don't know. I don't either. Sky troops. Like, just get the guys that wrote like Unleashed and Black Knight or something. Like it's not hard. Yeah. I'm like, pretty sure like yeah. I'm pretty sure they can they can uh, bash out a pretty damn good script like they did with Unleashed and Black Knight. Yeah. And get like, good voice uh, direction for the current cast. Yeah. Instead of acting, instead of having him sound like, um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but there was def there was just better voice direction for Sonic in Bloody Wreck It Ralph. Yeah, I was I was really surprised when I looked at like the Wreck It Ralph two clips with Sonic in it, and I'm just like, he's is, is there a book club? Is there a, is it a book is it a book club? Yeah, That's and like his voice thing. direction in that is like better than like. Uh, most scenes in the modern games. Like, what? Like, I, think, I think his best delivery was in Generation... Not Generations. Um, I think his best delivery was in Lost World. Uh, Lost wait, World uh, to be fair, Forces... Forces' voice direction wasn't actually that bad. Mm. I feel like a lot of, a lot of it is the lines. Like, my, my, one of my main issues with the current writing is the fact that, like, uh, they try way too hard to be funny when they don't need to be. Like, there's a, like, there was, I feel like a lot of, like, with what was going on in Forces, I don't think a lot, a lot of the writing made anything seem as dire than it should have. Yeah, like, what, what makes the characters like enduring is, is just who they are, uh, which is what these games, like, is that? Damn. Nice. Oh, shit. Sure. <laughs> Damn, that, not here. That happened in a previous playthrough, nice. Um, what, well, when you went through Sky Troops before? Yeah. Um, what was I saying, though? Like, Ah, thanks. Uh, I'm just gonna try to What are we talking about? It looks like it could jump pretty high. We're talking about um, who the uh, who the characters are in terms of. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah, it's like saying like like the characters in these games. We like them because of the who they are as like characters and the I don't know. To me, a lot of the characters. In the recent games, not always, but um, most of the time, they feel like parodies of themselves. If that makes sense. I feel like the the most natural sounding characters actually in Forces was um, were Rouge, uh, Rouge Shadow and uh, Omega. Yeah, Team Dark. Like, yeah, Team Dark is actually pretty good. Um, like the, the, the interact, yeah, the interactions between uh, Shadow and Rouge and, uh, during episode Shadow was pretty nice. That. That just like, made me want like a Team Dark spin-off. Yeah. Like just give us. A I'd play that as long as it wasn't anything like this. Yeah, like you could you could like make it like a mix between a Heroes Two and a Shadow Two or something. Or play, yeah, have it have it made by Platinum Games. Oh, that would be interesting. But like, yeah, just like yeah, I feel like the, I feel like the the gameplay that you could get out of um. Um, out of like a Team Dark spin-off could could be like a good Platinum Games. Yeah. Like you could have Rouge fight somewhat like Bayonetta if you could. Oh wow! Yeah. He had the, the switch, the uh, team switching mechanic from Heroes back as well. 
Yeah, bring that back. And... Uh, don't give Shadow guns. Give him his. Give him a proper functioning chaos spear and shit, like, stuff like that. Yeah, expand on his chaos abilities because they haven't really done much with that like since like 06. It's usually just him spamming chaos control and uh, taking people off guard. Yeah. Who did it here? Who did it? I love the fact that. Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, episode Shadow, like that was. But like, just see it. Like, I, I can, I know that was a callback to when, uh, to that point. Yeah. Uh, to when uh, it's like just the kick to the back of the head. He did the same to uh, Infinite. Oh yeah. Well, that time he didn't have to use Ghost Control. No. I get his throat. This, uh, his throat. This he really what uh, Infinite really was weak. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, like, like, I want. Um, let the, if they're gonna bring in another villain, don't have him screeching about being uh, not being weak. <laughs> Infinite is like, oh god, it's like. The, like I I was. I really he seemed very mysterious. You seem very mysterious, but yeah. he just came off as like a fucking. Apologize for the amount of swear words during this video, by the way. I don't know what your audience is, but I, no, I, I feel like yeah, that's fine. I feel like if I feel like if you were if you were getting monetized before, you definitely not getting monetized now. <laughs> and I, I wholeheartedly apologize. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to talk about the sale now. I know it's infinite. It's like one of the most. Underdeveloped villains, I can think of. Perfect. If he had actual motivation other than not being weak, then fair enough. But <laughs> like this, the dumbest reason to have a villain ever. Like, if if he ended up losing somebody because he uh, because he couldn't do anything, then I'd be then fair enough. Had like, yeah. uh, like I'd I'd, I'd um I'd excuse the whole not being weak thing, but yeah. It, but his backstory wasn't expanded upon. He was just part of a fucking mercenary force uh, that worked for Eggman, and then he got his ass handed to him. Huh? Yeah. By a shadow, and that wasn't. That's all we got. Yeah, I was Who expecting a lot more. Ever since, ever since that day, I hated you. <laughs> or something like that. I, I, I can't remember the voice lines off the top of my head. The, 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 the writing in the forces just confuses me. It's like, Sonic, how I hate him. And now this makes me want to make this machine thing something something. Okay. I admit that. I admit, I admit the, the ominous Sonic how I hate him. Uh, yeah, at the beginning was a bit was kind of all right, but it's just the rest of that lot, the rest of the sentence that like that particular moment just felt uh, a bit of a bit flat. It just feels like it's the the way he continued the sentence just felt off. Like it didn't sound right. Oh, Sonic, how I hate, and that's what inspired me to blah blah blah. Oh, right. It's like did it do. I just, have to, I just have to wonder if Mike Pollard would. I had, I had to read it twice. It's just imagine. I had to look at it twice before he actually decided to read it. Like, just listen to that scene, and like, after he's, he, he, he says, like, how I hate him, it's just like. <laughs> 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 oh, God. That's literally what it is. Like, it's so. You, you, you. Oh, God. I mean, fair enough, because Mike, uh, Mike Pollock doesn't care what he voices as long as he gets paid. Yeah, that's fair enough. That, like, that's, like, that's always been respect. That's been respect. That's that's respectable, to be honest. Yeah, like you need money. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Money. But oh, yeah. Like, if we just, like, going with the whole team art thing, though, like, I, I, I just wouldn't like these characters to do things again besides, like, just be on the sidelines. And, like, even, with Ponta, yeah. even with Pontac and Graf, they, they managed to be very, uh, like, very natural. 
Yeah. Which I wish was the case for a lot of other characters. Yeah. Um, I feel like we've just been doing nothing but playing. Cool video. Oh, well. To be fair, you know, if we're playing this, if we, we are playing a get uh, a, one of the most infamous games of the series, so it's bound to happen. I mean, if, 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 if you're playing Sonic 06, then God probably be even worse. Oh yeah, I, I've said this. Like going back to this game has been kind of kind of interesting for me because uh, I I don't hate this game as much. As, well, I don't even hate this game at all nowadays. Um, I, I I it's still it's still a bad game, and I don't. This is not a game I'm gonna like. Replay. Yeah, but I honestly I think this is the worst. Of, this I think this is the lesser of two evils or whatever. Like I I, I feel like I played this over like 06 Secret Rings or the Sonic Boom games. Um, the, you know, whatever. <laughs> Have you seen like some of the weirdest, um, weirdest things concerning you know, Omega and the Archie Com hips? No. What? There was a point in which uh, Omega had a crush on Blaze. Really? How'd that go? Something about I think something about how uh, she. Uh, She's really good at setting fire to things, and he, he finds that he finds that actually great. <laughs> and he gets a crush on her from that. That's hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. That is that actually makes a lot of sense, I guess. Like, that's a, like Omega is like that's Omega is just one of the most entertaining characters in the series. It's, he's hilarious because of how serious he is. <laughs> He's one of the comically serious characters. Yeah. Oh, no. I want to see more of Omega. Yeah, was it Forces the first time we saw him since I said? Uh, and I'm trying to think. Aside from Olympic Games? Maybe. It's really weird. It was good to see him back. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I, if there's one thing I can credit Forces for, um, I is giving these characters at least a bit of screen time again. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. Well, I wouldn't mind if the Forces cast is what is you the main cast me, from Doctor. now. On. I will find the truth. Yeah, you. just get. Just, this is my bias, but bring Blaze back, please. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't think because I, I was. Yeah. Go on. Go no, on I was going to say I don't think they necessarily have to bring like have all those characters every time that you can mix and match uh like different characters depending on the type of game you're trying to tell like story you're trying to tell but yeah i was talking to a few people about this in a, in a discord server uh, and i just i was saying like how um they could have uh, how shadow and omega why you traitors? You two How are going to stop me. Will... Move aside. No. Is this one of the? Is this the end? Uh, the last box? No. Please. No. This is some mid, mid, mid Those box. Androids, oh, the that's the uh, thing. Like like me. Me. Am I? Yes. This is also what? like the you most are... perfect. You and Omega also, huh? are my creations, but you betray me as you stand it's here before comical. me. So now I will destroy you both, turning you into scrap metal. What are you saying? I will defeat you yeah. once and for all. This is what you get for turning against me. Yeah, um... Yeah, they... Uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, we were talking about, like, forces the other day. Yeah. Uh, and I said, with how inconsequential as a whole so so uh, Classic Sonic was... Wait and see. Like... What the fuck? <laughs> An android? Me? What? <laughs> huh? You look. Perfect. 
funniest boss ever. Like you just walk, uh? you just walk behind you, go in a turret, and just spam B and win. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna try that. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um. In uh, how inconsequential. Uh, Classic Sonic is as a whole. They could have removed him completely. Damn it. What does it all mm. mean? These memories, the doctor's actions and words. And Nothing brought blazing sense. instead of the avatar. Was it real? Hmm. Yeah. I just imagine that as, as Sonic Forces instead. Time. Yeah. Shadow. Uh, that, yeah. But oh, by the way, how do you know my just show. Name? Just showing how edgy this Shadow game is. You just, killed everyone I just a military man. Family. Uh, pointing a gun at uh, Shadow. Yeah. What? It's coming out of nowhere. And Maria? <laughs> like this. Oh god. They they really should have just done a straightforward story because this is just all over the place. Hmm. Maria was like a sister to me. She was the only family I knew, and because of you, she was killed. Witnessing it all. The plan to create that horrifying evil creature. That black creature and that insane professor who unleashed it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the facial expressions in this game is so weird. So, yeah. The professor created me with black doom. You don't How do you feel it's not about, just about the, Maria. Thanks to you, like bringing in like aliens in like Shadow's backstory. Worst of all, my family. Finally, justice is served. Shadow's technically an alien. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess. If what you say is true, well, it's got I alien blood. Fully accept my fate. You mean to tell me uh, that like, you really don't? I used to. Not like I used but to like need some time really hate to uncover whole the alien truth. stuff, but like in an age where we have like so many nothing villains, I I don't mind them anymore. Like it could be a lot worse. It could be infinite. Yeah. Like I I take Black Doom over infinite. Yeah, but like I feel like as one-off villains for like the single game, I feel like the black arms are sur surfaceable. Like they. They do their job fine enough for the game they're in. We don't need they're a to good enough threat. Yeah. It's like, we don't need to see them again. Uh, well, they die for one thing, but like, um... They don't need... They don't need to, like, come back, but... For what it is worth, like... They're, f they're, they're, they're fine. Like... I, I don't... I don't think they need to be, like, discounted just for the fact that they're aliens. No. Like that just seems like very narrow-minded. Yeah. I think I think what matters is if not if they're aliens, but more like how like the execution. Yeah. Because I feel like um, I feel like having a reason for like the whole like um, gun um, massacre in the arc, like having more of a reason behind that, I think is fine. Um, like you giving more context to the backstory. I don't, I don't mind them trying to do that. It's not entirely necessary, but I mean, they tried. Of course. And if there's anything I can, like, is, if there's anything I can say about the quote-unquote Dark Age, and I'm kind of tired of calling these games that, um, is that. Say what you will about the actual quality of these stories, you can tell that the, they had a genuine, like, goal in mind. They they weren't, like, trying to make, so, like, a parody or, like, trying to make something bad on purpose. You could tell that they were, they, they were like, trying their hardest uh, with making um, these plots. And, uh, right. and, like, actually trying to innovate. Yeah. Like in I'll be honest, generations and colours and debatably lost world aside, I think the twenty like the later twenty tens mania aside as well were like 
in a sense like a dark age as well. Yeah, I mean, the more I thought about it, the more I just don't really care for a lot of the. I don't. More, I don't. More modern writing. No. Like, there's a certain charm to this kind of writing, to be honest. Yeah, like as as as. Oh, less the there was a coherent story being uh, being written. Yeah. Like as messy as it is, like I I like yeah I like the um um I like how they're trying to be genuine. Like I yeah. I don't think Sonic needs to be like comedy twenty four seven, um, and I'm not also not saying like it needs to be like super serious. Um, kind of stuff 24-7 either, but I feel like the modern games are leaning too much in the other direction. Have you seen the Sonic movie yet? No, but I've heard really good things about it. Same here. Like, I've got, like, I still need to watch it. Don't know when the next opportunity that it will arise will let me do that. Mm, yeah. Thank you. Hang on, apparently it's meant to be coming out on digital in the next few days. Oh, sick. Yeah, so... I think I'll be able to get myself. I think I'll be able to watch it. Yeah, I think I'll get on the stream as well. Because I can just imagine what would happen if they brought on the movie writers to make the get to make the game stories. Yeah. Because they actually, because from what I hear, they actually seem to know what they're doing in terms of writing. Yeah. If they do, if they do that, then I think that'll be a. Uh, that would be a good starting point to get the fucking series back onto a, a coherent story here. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've always just been confused why they don't just get, like, Ian Flynn or something. Yeah, same. Uh, I also... Fact, just the fact they managed to get Tyson Hess to remake Sonic's design at that point. Yeah. <laughs> when, like... In one of the biggest movies of the uh, like of the early 2020s. Yeah. Oh man. And like the Sonic movie has been doing like really well. Like, isn't it the most like the most? Uh, it's going like the most money of like a video game adaptation. It surpassed. Um, Detective Pikachu. Yeah. Man. Still haven't watched that either, I should probably do that. Have you tried going up? Oh, just because we're here, might as well do this. Find the computer room. Yeah. Find the computer room. <laughs> Find the computer room. <laughs> Find the computer room. <laughs> Find the computer room. Okay, that's enough of that. That's enough. Find the computer room. That's how it's done. Find the computer We need more game. We need like. Not only do we need like these characters to do more things, but just I don't know. We we need we need. I want to be able to play as some of these guys again. Like I'm kind of I'm getting tired of just Sonic only. Like Mania is nice. Is a step in the right direction. Of that, but, like, yeah, the if you can pull games... it off in 3D like that, like Mania managed to do. Yeah. In 2D, then. Good to go. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just want another uh, Sonic, uh, Sonic and Blaze game. Yeah, I could. Like yeah. an uh, like an actual 3D rush. That would be really interesting. Hey, look there! It's the computer room. Yay! It's the computer room. <laughs> Find the computer room! <laughs> we did it! We found the computer room! I remember during high school I, I told For some random guy exist? in class the to find the ahead. computer room. And he just 
<laughs> he was just so confused. It was great. Uh, I wish I'd have seen Perfect. that. Perfect. <laughs> oh boy. I am expect to. I I feel like at this point it it has to be an SA one remake. I don't. They, they've been like. I feel like they've been teasing that a lot. They have, and uh, and Izuka himself said that he wanted to, uh, to wanted to. Tell me, I need to know. Yeah, he wanted he wanted to do it. Yeah. They've got to do it right though. Yeah. It's kind of scary. Maybe say, maybe say big for the minigame. You okay? Yeah, it's gonna be really scary, like, if seeing them true, try to redo it. To because if they do it wrong, like, crimes. that's gonna be a massive blow. The oh, God. The arc on that tragic day. The humans seem to have convinced you that this absurd... I feel like a smaller... Game, like a game, I feel like a more like adventure style game would be better on the budget because, um, from what I understand, um, Sega do ha have like budget issues with a lot of their games nowadays, um, and I feel like doing a non boost game would be beneficial to them because with the boost, you have to have like so many assets just for one stage, and uh. I oh, don't know. I feel like at this point it's kind of taxing. Too, too taxing. Unleash don't like a really big budget game. Yeah. I'm not sure how. Like, I'm not sure if they'll. Uh, they'll be able to go to that scale. At least for a long time. So I feel like. More. I feel like slower paced games in the style of like adventure would be in their best interest. Yeah. Oh, no. Imagine if they announced that they were remaking both Adventure and Adventure 2 at once. I'd love that. I'd love them to just do an... Advent uh, Sonic Adventure Saga. Yeah, like just do a Crash uh, Spyro treatment where you just do both games in one. This yes. is what I must do for my atonement. <laughs> yeah, that, that's what they've been doing in the, in the, in the releases uh, late this year or early next, or, or like next year. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. That'd be good if it turns out it's, it's going to be done this year. Oh man, I'd love that. Oh, also, one other thing talking about the adventure games. Um, I do like how Adventure 1, 2, Heroes and Shadow kind of share like one long store like one long story i guess like they're all connected mm. and Finally, they haven't really done that since. all the chaos emeralds but like team hero and team dark well no in, in the sense that like it's what the stories of these games kind of like go into the next the and they're all following again. the same like I am Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, Shadow General, the like, research experiment. I, I don't know how to explain it, but like, wrong. I've caused they feel so like continuations of the same story, basically. Created. This is who and uh, each game hey, past this point feels there. more yeah, like a one-off, which is, which is fine, but I would like something like this again. You know, I like how... Um... Our shadow, our shadow just walked off and left back to uh, with like uh, with Black Doom. Yeah, it's like, hey, what? <laughs> Fuck off! Oh lord. So yeah, that was what story again? Uh, like semi hero. Hero ending or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> this is the final computer room ending. That was the final computer room. I'll say that. <laughs> I'll say that name. <laughs> it's close. This is gonna get to an actual name probably. I mean, yeah, they call it the final computer room ending. Yeah. I mean, like, the, the, there's like different names for each pathway you take. Um, there's like something like over 600 different endings 
or like different pathways, and they all <laughs> they all have like a they all have a different name. Um, oh my lord! So that's a thing. I don't know what any of them are like are called offhand, but. Uh, would right, you have anything else to say about Shadow itself? Because we've been like going all over the place of this Ooh, commentary. We have for, for the game. For the game and the character, I guess. Make Shadow his own character and not just a rival to Sonic. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> and this game, I don't know how to feel. Hmm. Yeah, that's fair. It should have just been like one coherent story. Yeah. Like focus it into one story and make it believable and better. Yeah. And just imagine if they decided to remake it and do exactly that. I that would be really interesting. I Um I my thing is if they if they wanna keep this morality thing, um just the closest closest um the best example I can give for this is make it more like Spider-Man Web of Shadows where uh, depending on how many good or bad things you do, the final boss and like the ending will be will be different. But that will will be like your definitive ending. There's not gonna be plague. Oh no, do do the other pathway and then you get a final story. Like don't do that. Hmm. You just make it so like do mostly bad, then you get a bad ending. You do mostly good, you get the good ending, and then and just let people be satisfied with what they get. And yeah, like if they want, if they want to see what the other ending is, then they can. But make it so that one playthrough feels actual consequential. Yeah, like it feels like you can just stop there, I guess. Instead of like six hundred odd different pathways, blood. That... Why? <laughs> I mean, you only have to. You only have to do. Like ten, like you only have to do the ten bosses at the end. Um, there's yeah. just like hundreds of um, hundreds of different ways to get to the endings. I don't know why anyone would care to do that. But, but it's like less is more. Yeah. I feel like they just. I feel like they just tried to uh, tried too hard to be uh, to be like uh, quantity. Like there's a lot of quantity. Yeah. But leaving people like, where's the quality, you know what I mean? Yeah. Although, thinking of, thinking of like the way this game makes you go to different stages by doing missions and stuff, it's kind of reminded me of one thing I've wanted in like, just a Sonic game in general, is it would be really cool if you just, if you like found a really secret hidden route or something and it just led to like a separate like a new stage or something like that um i i don't know if they'll i don't think they'll ever end up doing that in in one of these games like maybe no. 2d but i don't know because like, there, there are some like colors for instance sometimes has like two goal rings in a stage um so i don't know i feel like something like that could be cool but Probably never gonna happen. Mm, probably not. But yeah. We can. I just hope that the next game is better. Yeah. Than what we what we've been dealing with recently, mania notwithstanding. Yeah, I. I'm not necessarily gonna ask for a like a game with the production values of like Unleashed, but I do want. I do want. To see them actually. Colors. Like, yeah. production value, something like colors, at least. Yeah, I, I, I want them to. I want to see them actually care about what they're making again, because Forces definitely felt like we just need a game to, like, come out. Like, I don't know. Oh, boy. You got anything else? Nope. Alright. All I'm gonna say is, wash your hands. Yeah, these trying times, I try to be clean. Mm-hmm. Alright, well, got one more, I think we just got one more story path to go to, go through, so, um, 
look forward to whenever that happens. I, I honestly don't know when any of these, uh, any of this LP is gonna go up, but regardless, one more to go, and then the massive cluster of people coming in for the final part. Yeah, <laughs> so that's but gonna be fun. It's gonna be massive mistake, but it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be a beautiful mistake. Yeah. Alright, so we'll <laughs> sit from ourselves. We'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Have a good night. Edge.